<clears throat> Welcome back, everybody. Um, <clears throat> first of all, I want to apologize for the delay in the videos. Uh, you know, season ended, and uh, was trying to get it done last minute, late season archery, but couldn't make it happen. So I kind of just fell into a little slump, and um, I was like, I don't know what else to post, but <laughs> I remembered I have a lot more stuff I can show you guys. So this is going to be a part two for my gear review. This is the stuff I said in my last video that I got used all season. Um, from my clothes here, I had my boots right here. I had my pack. Uh, I got my pajamas on. <laughs> uh, I have plans for some cool new videos this year. I'm going to do a lot more hunting. I'm in the process of making a list now to keep myself accountable. Um, but before I get too far into it, uh, let's jump into this video. Oh, real quick. Excuse me. Um, if you guys plan on going to TAC, Total Archer Challenge, you have to be registered for four Seven Springs. Registration opens 8 a.m. on February 26th. So I mentioned that before. Hope you guys like. To, hope you guys will come out. You know, shoot some arrows. If you see me there, I'm not very popular. I'm not sponsored or anything. But if you guys see me there, stop. Hit me up. You know, we'll talk. We'll chat. Maybe I'll have you guys on a video. So without further ado, I can't wait for this to be gone. But let's get into it. First thing we're gonna go with is boots. So I'm gonna go from the ground up. Um, boots. I'm gonna show you guys what I was wearing last year and what I was wearing this year. So, I'm going to try something new also. I'm going to not have the camera on me, but have the camera on my gear, essentially. Because, personally, I keep watching my videos and I'm getting tired of seeing my face just gabbing about stuff. Uh, but, yeah. Let's get into it. Okay, so like I said before, we're talking about boots. These were the boots I were using. I were, geez, I was using. Um, just a leather boot from Gander Mountain I got before they went out of business. Didn't do too bad. I've had these for a while now, five years maybe, six years maybe actually. Um, the soles just started coming apart. And as you can see there, you know, just from taking it on and off all the time. Uh, there's not insulate in these, I don't believe. No, there's not. Right here's the size, everything. Yeah, there's no insulate in there. Uh, but it kept my foot pretty warm. Um, my feet didn't really sweat in these boots, so not a bad thing. I only, I did believe I bought these for a hundred bucks, actually. So overall, not a bad boot, but unfortunately, we're out. And in with the new. Across Alpha Burley Pro. My wife bought me these this year. Uh, there's not any tinselate in there, I believe. Let's check the tag. No. So just your typical rubber boot. Um, I tell you what, I've had these throughout the season this year. And I must say, I am highly, highly impressed. Um, yeah, like you get some of the wear and tear on your boots, you know. But that's just normal because you're going to be walking around doing all kinds of stuff with them. Uh, I've used these every saddle sit I had, every stock I had. Um, definitely, definitely, definitely worth the money. As you can see here, has breathable airways in it, so that way your feet aren't sweating constantly. Uh, you have your your size adjustment there on each boot. Um, I can't say nothing but, but but good things about these boots. Your feet don't get hot because, like I said, the air weighs in them. They're lightweight. They're a lightweight boot. They're not too heavy. They're not too bulky. The only thing I don't like is if these get wet, just like any other rubber boot does, it squeaks. Um, other than that, that's pretty much about it. I mean, I was kicking tree bark all year this year. I was, I was down in marshes. I was up in trees. I was walking all over snow, 
Never slipped one time. I mean, look at the tread on there. Like, it's just, it's a good boot. It's a good solid boot. 10 out of 10. Um, I don't know how you'd be able to fix a squeaking thing. I guess that, to my knowledge, that would just be like a, uh, just a usage thing. The more you use it, the more, the less it would squeak, maybe. I'm not sure. Kept my feet warm. You know, if you wear a good sock, I don't wear wool socks. Um, I just wear your typical high ankle sock uh, or a uh, tall, I don't even know what you call them, tall socks, work socks, whatever you want to talk, you want to call them. I will say, um, if you wear low cut socks with these boots, they are a pain to get off because they suck to your foot. They, as you can tell, like it gets, whoops, it gets thinner as it goes down, as you can see. And once you get to this point, it really sucks on your ankle. As soon as you get your foot in there, it's a fit. You're in there. So if you wear low cut socks and your leg starts to sweat, um, it is going to be a pain to get this off. But if you wear high ankle socks or work socks, whatever you want to call them, uh, it's still a little bit of a problem just because if you don't break them in, but it's not as bad. You know, it'll slide in and out like a breeze. Sometimes, not all the time, but sometimes. Um... I found personally that if you wear a dress sock, um, it slips in and out a lot easier. That's just me though, that's personally. So, Alpha Burley Pros from Lacrosse. I'm not sponsored by these guys. Um, I'm just, like I said, just in the uh, beginning of the video, I'm doing a gear review. So, that's it right there. Let's turn them around, make it look better. Alpha Burley Pros by Lacrosse. On to the next. Pants. I have a pair of overalls that I usually wear. Um, however, I bought these pants this year online for 60 bucks from Field and Stream in Altoona, which is now Sportsman's Warehouse. Uh, don't ask me why they got bought out. I don't know the details. However, I bought these pants. They are water resistant. Just your typical waistline pants. You know, you got your belt loops. What I liked about these is that they have this, uh, I'm gonna say like, like a rubber waistband on the back. They don't stretch or anything, but what it does do is kinda, once you put it on, and once you put it on, geez, excuse me, I'm trying to talk too fast. You put it on and uh, you put your belt on, your belt is, Obviously not going to make it fall, but this will also stick to whatever you have. So it's kind of like an extra grip, if that makes any sense. Um, they're lightweight, sense stopping. Plenty of pockets with zippers for all your pockets. Uh, I don't normally use the front or back pockets. I use the side pockets more than anything. But... These are, like I said, just your typical hunting pants. Um, got an adjustable bottom here with a zipper. I, I got these mainly for early, or not early, oh well, yeah, early season because I didn't want to wear overalls. But I actually wore these pants year round. Uh, I love these things. I'm, I'm glad I bought them. Uh, like I said, I got them on sale for 60 bucks. In the store, they were 100 something. So, it was a win for me, for sure. Uh, I'm a real tree guy. I'm not a mossy oak guy. I, there's, I'm not going to argue about who which one's better. Because, personally, I like real tree. So, I like everything to match. But, yeah, just your typical pants. Um, I didn't get wet with these when it rained. I, my legs never got wet. My stuff never got wet. The only thing that would get somewhat wet is if you were sweating in these and stuff that was inside your pocket so like my phone the screen would get sometimes a little damp but other than that nothing crazy uh, kept me warm kept me dry kept me scent free i've been plenty i've had plenty of encounters with these pants where the deer were less than 10 yards away from me and they you know never smelled me so can't complain about these pants so like i said before i bought these online 60 bucks Definitely worth it. Uh, they are called the Rustic Ridge. 
I guess it would just be the Rustic Ridge scent eliminating pant. Um, you'd like, you would want to have something lightweight for early season, which is, like I said before, the main reason I bought these pants. But if you can roll with them year round, that's great. You know, all I did was ever put a pair of, uh, like workout pants underneath them or something light, a thin layer, and that's it. You're good to go. Oh, also, it sounds loud right now, but this material, once you got it next to something, it, if I walk through a brush, completely, I can't say completely, but like, it's pretty quiet. I'm definitely, definitely happy with these pants. I'm glad I bought these pants. Set them over here. On, which is gonna be my top, my cover. Well, just my top. I have two different, uh, I have, I believe two different, three different types of three quarter zip jackets. That's my outer layer. Uh, we'll actually talk about that in a second. We're gonna skip to this real quick. Hoodies, you cannot pass up on a good hoodie. Like I said, real tree. I'm not sponsored by them or anything. I want to put that out there. I don't want anyone to say, oh, this guy's just sponsored by real tree and he's just tagging all this stuff. That's not true. I got, I just want everything to match, but real tree. Um, you cannot pass up on a good hoodie. It has that nice soft fleece in there. Keeps you warm. This will not keep you dry though. It will to an certain extent. Not like the other hoodie I have. It's actually out in my, in my tote, in my truck. It's a, under armor uh x storm hoodie i believe that will that keeps me dry in the rain if i know it's gonna rain in in my uh morning hunt or my evening sit that is the hoodie that i will throw on underneath my three-quarter zip if i know it's gonna be a little bit windy a little bit colder this is the hoodie i'm running all the time um you guys have seen it in my other videos you know i always usually just tie this around whatever neck cover i have um, I can't, I can't give a rating on this cause it's let me down a couple of times, but you know, you get hot wearing it, you get too cold whenever you get sweating in there and whatnot, but it does keep you warm. It does keep the wind off your back. So cannot pass up on a good, reliable hoodie. And now, as I was trying to state earlier, I have three of these three quarter zip covers my outer layer uh, i have one for early season which is the military green i have a lighter one for turkey season i guess you'd say and then i have this one which is a little heavier um i didn't really wear the one i wore the lighter one for turkey season one time this past year but i didn't get a chance to videotape anything um but I prefer these three-quarter zips over a zip-up hoodie any day. You got the extra pocket. So you can put stuff here. Um, what I like to do with my hoodies is if I'm wearing this, if I'm wearing any hoodie underneath my three-quarter zip, and if you use scents, if you're walking in, um, I like to put little bottles here, like Dopey or Doe Estrus or whatever. Um, because this is closer to my body and it'll heat it up. So it's kind of like a fresh scent. <laughs> um, this though, you could put, um, whatever you want in here, honestly, obviously, I mean, it's a pocket, but I don't ever really use this. The only thing I ever really have used this for is if I'm trying to send a text or something real quick and I see a deer or I'll throw my grunt call in here or I'll just... I'll put something in here, last case scenario, if I need to. As I stated, or I didn't state this yet, but it has a uh, fleece in there. It keeps you warm. Um, I'm not sure what this black is for. I'm assuming just a stretch of material, maybe. Uh, I know it sounds kind of gross, but if I need a, a rag or something to wipe my nose with, this is going to be it. Um, it's You have it on both sides. I know, like I said, it's going to be gross, but it is what it is. Uh, so yeah, it's just a typical three-quarter zip jacket. Um, can't can't uh, go without it. Um, this is I usually have this in my pack at all times, which is gonna be my next. Actually, I lied to you, but I do have this in my pack at all times. Sometimes I'll usually just wear a t-shirt 
like a light t-shirt or something thin and then i'll just i'll carry these two things in my pack when i get to my saddle or i get to the tree i'm gonna be hunting at this shoot the that time to hunt that's what i'm throwing on um i usually always like i know some guys are extremists they'll take a pair of pants in they go underneath these or they'll have an extra pair of pants to pull up over them when they're in their stand or in their saddle that's not me um I always go in as light as possible, so I'll wear the pants or whatever I have to, but I will not wear this if I don't need to. Um, you don't want to get too hot. You don't want to get too sweaty because if you're if you're sweating in cold conditions and you get calmed down, once you get up in your stand or your saddle, whatever it may be, that can be causes of hypothermia, which is not good. Um, but... Those are my outers. Well, I can't say these are my uppers. This is my bottom. I have more, but I'm not going to go into it right now. Um, the next thing I'm going to show you real quick is just a just an orange vest. I just had it outside, so I grabbed it. I think it still has my 30 out six shells in it. Yep, still got my 30 out six shells from rifle season. Um. Just a typical orange vest, you know, it is what it is, nothing crazy. Uh, piece of information about me, uh, I like to wear things that are tighter to my body than looser because that way you don't have to worry about getting snagged up all the time. All right, everybody, so this is my pack. <clears throat> um, I'm not sponsored by Phil and Stream, so don't think I am. Don't be saying all kinds of stuff. Uh, I bought this pack mainly, well, mainly because I like to carry my bow in here because this front part here pulls off or well, unclips. Um, I put my bottom cam in here. I cinch it up. I use this to hold it tight. Um, I don't do that all the time because I also carry my sticks in this part of my pack, and it's pretty resilient. I mean, it's been getting pretty beat up. Um, I also got it for a lot of the pockets. Like, as you can see here, the blue, these are gloves. This main pocket here, this is the biggest pocket you'll have on this pack. Uh, I carry my camera arm, my gear hanger, and this has a little pull-out pouch here. It's hard to see. But uh, I've put my uh, hoodies and my three-quarter zips in there. Um, other little things like hat and gloves. Has these little push-pass pockets. Uh, I like the, the one thing I do, well, there's more things than one, but... I like this right here, dry pocket, wallet, phone, keys, uh, whatever you want to stay dry basically will stay in this pocket and it zips shut. It'll also stay warm in here too. Um, I don't know why that's of importance, but it's mainly because of the dry. This does have, a, have an outer shell, which I can show you because in case it's crappy out and the wind's, good Lord, because the wind's blowing and whatnot. Um, Rain's coming down pretty hard, or it's snowing real heavy, and you have to field dress the deer or whatever you got to do. Oh, look at that. I got a spider web in my pocket. Spider's thing. Um, outer shell, though. It's attached to the pack, so you can't lose it, and then you just unroll it and uh, throw it over it, and it keeps it dry. And once you're done, uh, just grab it and shake it off wipe it down and let it air out so it doesn't get all moldy and stuff just roll it up again stuff it in this pocket here and just zip it shut and you're good to go i like i said like i mentioned before i keep my bow in here every once in a while so i'll use this uh, i'll loosen out all the way and i will cinch down my bottom limb with my bottom cam in there uh has pockets for water on both sides and then if you flip it around it's not a frame backpack but it has a little bit of rigidity to it which i do like a lot um got your back pads here and whatnot um oh your hip you got hip belt liner hip pockets hip pads whatever you want to call it you cannot appreciate a good backpack like this um until you have stuff that's in your pack and it's heavy because <laughs> from remembering school, you know, you have your backpack full of books and whatever. It weighs a lot on your shoulders. And if you carry on one strap, it'll actually end up eventually 
hurting your back or severely warping your spine, depending on the severity or how heavy your backpack is. Um, with these though, they, they say you want these to be tighter on your hips and then, well, actually the way to do it is you put whatever's in your pack. Say you got a field dress of deer, quarter it out, whatever you throw it in here. You put these on first, right? Put it on first, cinch it down tight as you could possibly can without busting it apart. Um, these buckles, yeah, they're plastic. They're not the greatest. I might get, uh. A different kind, different time. Jeez, oh man, a different kind. And put them on here. However, they say you want to put these on here, hook it together, cinch it down as tight as you can get it, and then tighten your shoulder straps because it'll actually make carrying stuff so much easier. Um, Thermosel here because I have it hooked here because I hang this from my gear hanger. Um, and if if it's 50 degrees or 60 degree weather and you're sweating and it's starting to get, you know, just that time of night where the bugs are coming out. If you don't have one of these in the woods, good luck. Again, not sponsored by them. I'm also not sponsored by this company either, Jeep. However, I got this from my grandfather. It is a survival tool. Uh, I'm just, I just have this just in case. I'd rather have it, not need it than need it, not have it. So... However, this is an extra, and I will go into this later along with my other stuff. Um, side pockets here and here. I carry my arrows in there. I only take three arrows because I don't shoot a quiver. Uh, but that's going to be a DIY project for me this year is a uh, a arrow holder that I can put broadheads in. Um, but yeah, this is my pack. I've had this pack now for going on. This will be my third season with it. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. Has not let me down once. Um, <laughs> ironically, my wife bought me a backpack. My wife buys me everything. <laughs> That's not true. But she does buy me good stuff. Uh, she buys me quality stuff because she knows how much I love to do this stuff. And it's always for a certain holiday. Father's Day, anniversaries, XYZ, birthdays, whatever it may be. Christmas. Um, She bought me a different pack, which is supposed to be a framed pack. Uh, made for like going out in like Colorado or whatever it may be, not for the whitetail woods. And uh, it never got shipped, believe it or not. And then we went to fill in stream. I found this. I was like, I talked to the guy. I said, can you carry a bow in here? He says, yeah, I believe so. I said, sweet. So we grabbed it and that was it. But yeah, so these are my, these are the stuff that I wore every day this this season uh i didn't leave the house without it and if i did i had to go back and pick it up because i was kicking myself in the rear um but in the in the next video i'm gonna do i'm gonna do my camera arm my gear hanger and the other gear that i used this season so with that being said i'll catch you guys in the next video please like subscribe and follow my instagram at roaming underscore hunter and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Thanks.